hi guys welcome back again to my kitchen today I'm going to make ginger juice in my kitchen I know you guys have been waiting for this recipe for so long and I'm finally gonna make it for you so hang in there with me and let's go for a ride Okay guys, first things first, let's talk about the ginger here. I have exactly two pounds of ginger in here. Um, they're pretty good sized ginger, okay? You wanna make sure guys, when you're making your ginger juice, you wanna make sure that you wash this thing thoroughly. I'm gonna wash, I haven't washed it yet, clean it up yet, but rinse it off real good. And I'm gonna cut it up in very tiny pieces because I'm gonna put it in my blender. I'm not gonna use a grater, guys. If you wanna grater your ginger, you could go ahead and take that long root of grating your ginger, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna just throw it in my blender and I'm gonna be done with this ginger juice in one, two, three. So I'm gonna come back in the next step and show you how I cut up the ginger. So let's talk about the ingredients what we're gonna to need to add to the ginger. I have I have um, brown sugar in here. I'm gonna use the brown sugar. I prefer to use the brown sugar, guys. I'm going to stick to the traditional way of how oh, I saw my mom and grandmother made their ginger beer or ginger juice. And I'm going to be using a cup and a half of brown sugar. If you want to go a little bit sweeter, you can go ahead and go sweeter. Now you know you can also use um, honey in your ginger beer but I'm going to use the brown sugar in here and this is a cup and a half. I'm going to add my lemon juice if you have fresh lemon you could use it or fresh lime you could use that. Okay guys so now we are going to move to the next step. Um, I have here the ginger as you can see right there I washed it thoroughly and I cut it up in like not too small, not too big, but I cut it up in, in, in little pieces. So what you're going to do next here, you're going to go ahead and grab your blender. And you just want to put them in your blender. Okay, so you put your ginger in here, and you go ahead and you put your water in. So, okay guys. Now that is blended, I'm going to probably do this twice just to make sure I get all the flavor from the ginger out. So you want to get your clean strainer, make sure the hands are clean, and you just pour this out. Make sure you get all that juice from the ginger out. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay guys, so that still has a lot more ginger juice in there. So I'm going to go ahead and, and blend that out one more time. So okay guys, this is the second time that I'm going to blend this ginger. I don't know about you guys, but I do not like my ginger too strong where it's actually burning or scratching the throat. I like to taste the flavor of the ginger, but I don't want to overwhelm my ginger juice with too much of that ginger flavor going on. But if you like it strong, you could just, even with just this amount, you could sweeten this. This is pretty strong, but I don't want it that strong. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pour this out just to make sure that it's nice and smooth. Put that aside. And then the second amount that I have in the blender, I'm just going to go ahead and strain that out as well. I think that's pretty good. I got all that ginger out because the water now is much clearer than it was the first time I blended. So that's very, very good. That's exactly how I want it. Strain that off, put that away, 
And I'm gonna strain this off again, just to make sure that I don't get any, anything in here, so I'm gonna strain that off. And that is my ginger juice right there. Okay? So now what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sweeten that thing up. The first thing that I'm gonna put in here it's my lemon juice. So I'm gonna use a half a cup in here. So now I'm gonna put a cup and a half of brown sugar in here as well. And you're gonna just mix this thing until the sugar dissolves. Give it your taste test, and then you're good to go. That's it right there, guys. Ginger juice for ya. So, that looks awesome. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go ahead and um, put this in a, in a glass with some ice. And I'm going to let you guys see what that looks like. This thing is perfect when it's nice and chill, cold, served with some rice and peas and brown stew chicken and all that. Okay, so I'll see you back when I'm ready to serve this thing up. Okay guys, the ginger beer is all done. It is perfect and delicious and easy to make. Okay, so don't forget guys to like and subscribe. Let me know what you like to see me cooking next. And as always, from my kitchen to your kitchen, enjoy! good 30 minutes on medium heat cover it up nice and make it simmer and when it's done simmer a time for eat so see you back okay, in a guys, few minutes so this is in with your foundation full coverage you know like bam and last but not least the last thing i tend to go for in my makeup collection is this palette right here let me show you what this baby looks like it has a whole bunch of concealers i believe it's ten dollars for this palette